Hey there everybody, in this video we're going to talk about the easiest way for you to track your advertising and digital marketing so that you can actually find out what your return on ad spend is and see if your campaigns are working or not. It's actually not as hard as you think. We're going to make it very, very simple in this video. Hey there everybody, my name is Brandon Brashears. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I make daily marketing videos here, so I talk about everything from social media marketing to email marketing to pay-per-click ads to basically anything that's related to digital marketing and selling online. So if you're looking to grow your business with digital marketing, be sure to consider subscribing here. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you need help with anything, please don't hesitate to reach out by commenting below. Happy to help if you have any questions, if you have any comments, or you need help with anything. All right, let's jump into the video. So analytics are extremely important. And a lot of times it's the kind of pre-work that you're going to do for your campaigns to make sure that you're able to first track and understand what's working and what's not working. And so a lot of times people get confused about where they should be tracking things. An interesting stat is that almost all businesses have Google Analytics installed on their website, but something like 70% of analytics users never actually look at their analytics. So if you have analytics installed, but you don't look at it, it's actually not helpful to have it installed. So when was the last time you looked at your analytics and what do you look at specifically? I'd love to know, comment below. I'll definitely be doing analytics videos in the future as far as tutorials and how to track things and set up goals. We're actually not gonna be using Google Analytics for the most part. So the thing that I think is important to think about is first, you need to understand what stage of the funnel that you're in. I created videos, if you click up in the top left-hand corner here, about funnels and how to track content at each stage of the funnel. Now, if you're trying to track return on ad spend, you're actually gonna have to sell something, or you're gonna have to create leads that turn into actual dollars. It's not just likes and shares and comments. That stuff is good to track. And you're still able to track that stuff, but if we're talking return on ad spend, you have to have dollars at some point in this equation to actually see what your return is. Because what is the ROI of a like? It's hard to say. What's the ROI of a subscriber? It's hard to say. They're definitely valuable, but what is that specific value? You're not sure. So a few things here. Number one, we're gonna be using this for the mostly talking about bottom of funnel conversions and things. It's really simple for you to track, you know, if a post gets tons of likes or tons of shares, but if you're not selling something, again, you're not able to track dollars. So let's assume you have a product that you're selling. Let's say you're selling a book, for example. It's a pretty common funnel, right? You have a book and you're selling it. So what we need to do is we need to install pixels on your website. So pixels are tracking codes that allow you to track user behavior when they visit your website. I actually did a video about how to install Google Tag Manager. It's very, very helpful. It's really long. Um, if you don't know how to do that, it is in this. It's a total, complete tutorial. So you need to have Google Tag Manager installed, or if you're using a landing page software or Shopify or something like that, you're gonna be able to install your pixel tracking code directly in the pages. You wanna pixel every single page. So with these conversion pixels, you have what are called base pixels, specifically for Facebook. And this is the same code that you're gonna put on every single page of your website. And then the other code that we have are what are called standard conversion events. So conversion event pixel only fires, and when somebody reaches a web page, the code runs, and that's called a pixel fire. So that pixel conversion, standard event conversion code, needs to only happen on the page that hap is the confirmation of that page. So if you have somebody on a page that's a sales page, let's say they fill out the cart, they take the next step, they submit their payment, they've reached the confirmation page, that's when you're gonna to wanna to have that pixel code fire. It's pretty simple. You're only gonna install that standard conversion event on that page. Now, inside of Google Analytics, you can go inside and create conversion tracking pixels and conversion goals, and then use Google Tag Manager or install a code on that custom, I'm sorry, on that conversion page as well. So if you're using Tag Manager, the tag um, trigger will be the, the confirmation page or if you're using the actual code, you're gonna then again embed the code on that con uh, confirmation page. So my suggestion is to use whatever platform you're sending traffic to, to do the reporting. So if you're gonna be doing Facebook and you're gonna be doing AdWords, it's important that you're gonna have both Facebook and AdWords conversion tracking pixel on both of the pages. Now you can use tools like UTM um, to track sources and mediums and campaigns. 
but I think that that's probably a more advanced type of strategy. I totally love UTM for tracking, but I like to get the data and the conversion windows, especially if you're doing display ads on AdWords. When you put the ads tracking pixel, you're able to see view through uh, conversions, which is when somebody sees an ad and then they have ad recall, right? They're gonna remember that, that they saw that and it was part of the conversion and they'll attribute that to that display ad. So especially if you're doing display ads on, on either YouTube or just on other display networks from Google, it's very, very important that you're also tracking inside of Google AdWords, not just Google Analytics. Now you can set up goals and things inside of Google Analytics, but it just starts to add up a lot of different um, pieces that I think can potentially break down. I think the most consistent way to get your reporting done is inside of the ad platform that you're running ads on. But I would love to hear what your thoughts are. Do you currently use Google Analytics? Do you use other analytics tracking tools? In my opinion, simplicity is always the best. And obviously businesses get really complicated when they have thousands of products or hundreds of products and then tons of mediums that they're sending traffic from to the website. So love to hear your thoughts. Again, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you enjoy digital marketing or if you want to grow your business with digital marketing, please consider subscribing and I will see you on the next video. Have a great day, everybody.